So we're up here still in Darlington, up in the northeast, and we've been joined again by Mark Jones, um, who's going to give us a little guide to uh, soft tops. And we have this slightly lurid Boxster S here uh, to play around with and also do the soft top. Um, so we've just watched you do a little bit of snow foaming and rinsing. Yes. What's going to be your next plan of action? Well, with the soft top, obviously you have um, the plastic glass on the back. Um, obviously what we are going to do is next is we are going to tape up the areas that you can scratch obviously with a brush when you are cleaning it. Yeah. Obviously one of the main things about taking care of a car is that when you actually clean it you are taking care of it and not actually damaging it Doing when more you damage. are. Absolutely. Yes, of course. So what I will do is is I will be taping round the glass and obviously round the parts that are painted round the front of the on top of the windscreen. Yeah. Um, onto the pillars and you know, we'll go from there and start cleaning it down with some brushes. That's cool. And one thing we featured in a previous episode is the 3M blue detailing tape. Yes. And that works great, but there's nothing to say you can't just use masking tape. No. Um, and in terms of the windows, what are you going to use to protect the windows? Well, you know, a lot of guys do use Top Gun sheeting. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, available ready from any body shops and suppliers. Today what we're going to do is, is you know, something that anyone can use is obviously just cut up some black bags and obviously stick them over nice and neat. And that's obviously just for the, the application of the proof for the roof. Gotcha. So what we're talking about here is deep cleaning and most importantly drying, because drying's a big issue, Yes. Um, of that roof. And then we're going to apply proofer over the top of it. Uh, and in order for that to work properly, it has to be a dry surface. Yes. But equally, you don't want to get that proofer on the plastic or the glass or the trim around it. Um, and so here again, just demonstrating, you can use a black plastic bag. I would suggest a heavy duty one from a supermarket. Yes, of course. It's yes. a bit thicker um, and just domestic masking tape if, if you're pushed. But if not, you know, online, you can get anything from body shop suppliers, detailing shops, the lot. So, um, yeah, I will let you crack on. Not a problem. So Mark has uh, just been brushing around the car. What have you been putting onto the hood there? Um, what I've used is, is the bullet cleaner and degreaser, which is a weapons grade degreaser. Um, okay, when a, you say weapons grade, what precisely do you mean? As in, is this used by armies or something? Or? Not, not quite, but no, not quite. Um, it's obviously just a range that bullet do is a weapons grade range. Right. Um, the cleaner itself, obviously when, when you use it and you rinse it off, all of the surfactants and all of the chemicals in it will disappear and leave no trace. So it's water soluble in that yes. respect? Yes. Gotcha. Yes. And so the idea of this is to get rid of the green marks and the other stuff. What sort of thing builds up on hoods? I suppose you've got tree zap and... You get algae. Um, you get a lot of other things like mildew. Because you have the fabric over the top and the waterproof layer underneath, all of the water soaks into the fabric. Then you get dirt, grime, which builds up, mm -hmm. and obviously it becomes a habitat for things to grow. Yeah, no, I can see that being pretty, pretty poor. And with the sunlight as well, yes, you've exactly. got organic and sort of creatures, creepy crawlies, I imagine, as well sometimes. Yes. Um, so we sprayed that on, and you were massaging it with a brush. What were those brushes you were using? Well, I was using a couple of different brushes. Obviously, with soft tops, you don't want to go too hard because going too hard on fabric obviously you can fray the fabric you can make it mm -hmm. you know you can you can break it basically again another thing about taking care of cars is to use the right products and right techniques so you don't actually damage what you are working on yes no i can imagine yes and i've seen some people use uh, like machines on this yes um from what i've heard is it's kind of all right if you're using a da because it can stall yes um if it picks up anything but not to use a rotary machine a, ro a rotary machine obviously will generate too much heat and because it won't stall as you say it will keep spinning the reason obviously again you should use the correct products because you will actually fray the top of the hood. Yeah. I have actually heard circumstances of people ripping them when they've went too close to seams or to cuts. And I imagine that means a new hood, which is thousands of pounds on a car like this. Thousands and thousands of pounds, yes. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, you're using a, a, a what looked like a medium bristle brush. It was quite, it was quite an aggressive brush, but it looks. Like yes, it. well, ov obviously it is, it is aggressive per se, but obviously because it has got quite a long length of mm -hmm. bristle, it obviously cushions it as well. So you do actually get quite a good bite on it with mm -hmm. the protection as well. No, no, well, it looks a lot better. So what's the plan now? 
The plan is, is I'm going to remove the tape. What I'm first going to do is, is spray some water on so the tape will lose its tackiness. Yep. Then obviously we're going to rinse the full car off. Um, I'm then going to use George very carefully and dry George. her down. Yeah. George is a wet extraction machine. We, we haven't actually got somebody called George who just sucks fabric. Um, so, um, and you're going to do the wet extraction and then, and that's part of the drying. What would you normally do to get it dry? Is that, is the George sufficient or? The George, the George is sufficient to extract as much water as possible. Then you have a couple of options. Obviously you can leave the car out. Mm -hmm. um, obviously not on a day like this, but you yeah. can leave the car out in direct sunlight for a few hours or, you know, leave it in a unit overnight, which would be sufficient or mm -hmm. your, your home garage. What we will be doing, obviously, for the purposes of the video is, you know, don't try this at home. I've, I've done it a lot of times is using a heat gun or a hairdryer okay. to obviously activate and speed up the process of drying the soft top. Gotcha. So again, this is kind of for demonstration purposes. We're using a hairdryer, um, but don't do it at home. Yes. Um, uh, Mark's an experienced detailer and uh, he knows what he's doing and um, he's fully insured so if it does go wrong in the Porsche it's all covered. Of course. So that's As always, always good. Um, okay well I will leave you to it. Not a problem. Uh, hope it goes well. So we have uh, brought back the Porsche in this lovely colour um, in here and we have wet extracted it so it is now dry and yes. we've also used a heat gun I saw was being used just to accelerate that process. Yes obviously again I will stress um, you know if you don't know what you're doing don't do it. Don't do it. That's yeah no, makes sense. Yes. Absolutely. So the next step I see hang on I see you've got a sort of strange thing in your hand going on there. Yes. Have you got an injury? No. I've, Are you sure? Mm, no. I've okay. just I've just um, taped the tape around my hand a couple of times obviously to help remove lint from the car, from lint. the roof. So literally, um, it's just, uh, just as in literally just all the uh, little specks and dust is one way of doing it. You put the tape around and as long as the tape doesn't leave any residue, I'm sure that's absolutely fine, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's perfectly fine, yes. Brilliant, cool. And you're fondling a bottle? Yeah. Is it yours? It, it is. Um, obviously, this is the, the weather proof, which I'm going to be spraying on the roof. Okay. Um, so it's a nano a nano sealant which will obviously stop any water penetrating the fibers which will mean that the roof will stay hydrophobic mm -hmm. it will stay cleaner for longer because no dirt will be able to penetrate it with water which means that no algae mosses won't we'll we'll be able to, yes so this is for example taking on fabasil fabasil gold yes um it'll be taking on what there's a g-technic one as well that they yes do. smart fabric yes um and i think renovo do one as well so it's renovo it's, do yes there's quite a lot on the market and so to have a new product in there um i'm guessing this is going to be solvent based is it it's actually no it's not it's water based it's water based it? yes Ooh, interesting because a lot of them are solvent based not all of them there are some water based ones out there but that's a good sign um and this one's general purpose so this can be used on more than just hoods by the looks of it yes of course it can be used on a you know all manner of things um trainers for example mm -hmm. um fabrics in your house set ease cushions that sort um, of thing and yeah. it's, it's silicon free i noticed and i've heard something about nanotechnology with this as well yes of course what does that actually mean <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Um, nanotechnology means it uses very small things and interlinking bonds. I think that's all we need to say for now. Yes, of course. Um, so, and how are you going to apply it? I'm going to just spray it lightly onto the car, obviously yep. onto, the, onto the soft top. Onto the soft top. Yes. Note as well, we have put in the uh, plastic bags and we've used a bit of paper around and about too. Again, this is just protect to make sure we don't get this stuff on the paint. I don't think it'll do any serious harm if it hits the paint. No, no, none at all, um, no. But it it's... just saves time having to wipe it off again. Yes, of course. I mean, obviously, again, uh, we could... You know, we could have used Top Gun sheets and everything, but yeah. I'm just showing this in a way that anyone could do this. And, you know, and because we really don't have any Top Gun sheets. Yes, exactly. Yes, and yes, it's, quite. Yes. So, and, and let's just, well, let's watch you, let, we'll have a squirt. So again, you're not exactly saturating it, and I'm guessing that's very much on purpose. Yes, it's just a very, very light mist, and what I will do is, is once I've coated it, I will then dry the roof off and mm -hmm. repeat the process so you get two coats. Two layers on that. And how long do you think it'll last? This should last well over a year, one to two years. Okay. And is it going to get that kind of cool beading effect that you see sometimes on Tinternet? Oh, yes, of course. We'll, we will be actually doing a water test for you on, oh, on film. Looking forward to that. All right, then. Well, I'll leave you to it. 
the hood of this lovely Boxster has been deep cleaned and it's been dried and now it has been proofed by Mark here. Um, one point to note is it is terribly chilly as you can tell from the whole um, condensating of breath etc. It's been a bit of a challenge hasn't yes, it? Yes it has indeed yes. Um, but Mark is from up here so he's used to dealing with these sorts of temperatures um, and in an ideal world I uh, would suggest doing this during summer because then you can air dry in the sunshine and stuff like that. Well of course with with any soft top cleaning you know guys generally do want their soft top clean around springtime which mm -hmm. obviously as you know it will the climate will change it will get a lot warmer but you know as a demo for you guys today i've obviously done this for you okay. yeah. that's cool well that's very kind indeed um so now we have the acid test now the, the whole kind of water beading on hoods thing um just because it doesn't bead doesn't mean it doesn't it's not protected no but if it does bead it's a good sign that it is protected yes that's correct yes um so what i'm going to ask mark to do is drizzle some mystery liquid that is actually just h2o yes. um, over the hood yes and we shall see whether it beads or not uh, bear in mind that we have only done this half the hood in terms of the proofing so far because uh, we've got lots of other stuff to do today and Mark's going to do the other. Oh, go pull away, spurt it oh, over. Sorry, sorry, Bert, sorry. You're a bit shaky on the hand there. Yes. So there you can see from the water behaviour, it's doing rather well. Um, and bear in mind, the benefit of that water is going off is that instead of drying on the hood and then leaving kind of even calcium deposits and all sorts of other things, it is protected. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. And if you imagine if you're driving along, those will all, all those droplets will just fly off um, and your hood will be looking good. Yes. So really, that just leaves me to say thank you very much for having us here. It has been an absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure as always. Bert. You've got a wet hand. I know I have. Uh, okay. And you liked it. I did. I did, did indeed. Yes. No, I live for those moments in life. Um, and we're now going to hurtle down south, mm -hmm. um, back to civilization, and um, then we shall, uh, I'm sure, catch up very soon. Yes, of course. Anytime. Anytime. Thanks very much. Not a problem.